Hey everybody, welcome back to the layout. Welcome back to the basement. Today we're gonna to be checking out this, the Lionel Legacy H10. And this is a Pennsylvania Railroad scheme, cab number 1288. This is from the 2018 Big Book from Lionel. So not really a new engine, but one that we haven't reviewed here at all. And so I wanted to make sure we took some time to do so. Now this engine is what we'd call a 10 wheeler. It's a 280 and very popular during World War II, moving troops and kind of doing a little bit of everything. Now, the way that Lionel describes this engine when looking at their catalog is that there's a couple of different classes and they were described as the workhorse of the Pennsylvania Railroad for, they had the H8, the H9, and the H10. All of those accounted for over 1,200 locomotives for the Pennsylvania. They only differed by about an inch in cylinder size, the bore size of the cylinders, and that put those changes, obviously, does, they're gonna designate some new names for those locomotives. They were equipped for passenger service and so were for, were for troop trains during World War II. And in these models, 2018, they do feature legacy command control. They're gonna be able to operate conventionally and with Bluetooth also. So these do have Bluetooth on board. Now, the best feature for this locomotive was So not only did this have a swinging bell, but it also had the whistle steam as well. So we fire this thing up. Quick wake up for you. So this has stack steam. It's got the whistle steam. And then it's got a swinging bell. How cool is that? So the swinging bell is such a neat feature. This was on mostly on some vision line engines. It hasn't been on too many other engines since then. Oh, would you look at that? It's also on my 466T. Of course, no one else has that on theirs. That's just mine. But it is such a neat feature. I know that it was on the CC2, it was on the two 10102s, those giant Santa Fe's. So, pretty cool stuff. Let me turn this off so maybe you can actually hear me. So, really cool features on this locomotive. It's tiny, it's small, it can operate on some really tight curves because it is so small. In fact, it can actually operate on 031 curves. So this can operate on the smallest of layouts with some of the best legacy features, which is what makes this really a knockout model. Now, MSRP for this model when it came out was $749.99. Because of the features, these actually do go for a little bit more on the secondary market than that MSRP price. In fact, there's a couple on eBay that are well over $1,000. So definitely some of those ones that are harder to come by. This was offered in a set. It was offered in a coal hauler set as well that came with some coal goes to work hoppers. I believe they were GLA hoppers as well as a nice cabin car caboose. So that was a nice set that came out back in 2018. I know, I remember it being on the list of things that I would have liked to purchase then, but I just wasn't in the budget at the time. I was fortunate enough to pick one of these up and it's a really neat engine. It's really, really cool. I, I get joked on by my buddies a lot because these small engines typically don't last on my layout because my layout is so big. Uh, but it is a really neat engine and I'm happy to have it here and be able to show it with you. Let's run it around the layout. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Thanks so much. Enjoy.
dispatcher. Out.